Hello, good morning. Thanks for joining us in such an early morning. Uh, today we are going to talk about the best practice for the liquid and air cooling for the 51T switch and high density AI cluster. So my name is Henry Wu. I'm from Broadcom. So I'm a switch product marketing, has been in the company for more than 14 years. So this is uh, Feng Bo Zhu, he's a senior network architect from Alibaba. I'm going to start by talking about the AI power challenge we are facing today. Then I'm going to share some thoughts about how to tackle it from the silicon perspective. Then Feng Bo is going to talk about uh, their design philosophy on the AI switch. And he's also going to share some about test data and uh, deployment experience. So one year ago, I think people was talking about the megawatts data center. And just a few months later, we started to hear about gigawatts data center being built by multiple hyperscaler and uh, powered by the nuclear energy. So inside the data center and OCP, we have witnessed more than 10x the power and thermal density increase on our rack level. So ORV2 defined 12 kilowatts per rack. In the ORV3, they tripled to 36K per rack. And one year later, in the high power rack, has been increased to 100 kilowatts. So all of this is driven by the explosive AI computation demand. We know that every generation of GPU or XPU doubles the TFLOPs capacity. It is the same pace for the networking switch. So even though the latest manufacturing node it improves 30% power efficiency for every generation, the overall power keeps growing because the capacity and bandwidth keeps doubling. So in the following section, we are going to talk about how to tackle it from the networking perspective. So as a silicon vendor, uh, we believe that there are multiple keys to enable a compelling power solution. The number one is integration. As you can see here, a monolithic 51T switch is able to displace six 25T uh, switch while providing the same number of front panel bandwidth. Such kind of integration saves at least 75% power. Now to mention the additional saving due to the flattened network, less cabling, and the easier system design. The second is about velocity. It allows us to always take advantage of the latest manufacturing and the packaging technology. As an example, in the past decade, we have gone from the 640 gig Trident in 2010 to the 51T Tomahawk 5 in 2022, achieving more than 80 times the bandwidth increase and the 95% improvement in the power efficiency. So the third one is about I.O. So as you, as you know that in the AI training cluster, the number of optics is usually four to six times of the number of GPU. So the combined power consumption from the optics is usually greater than the networking switch itself. A strong third is will drive a longer deck and linear optics, which may contribute another great portion of saving due to the interconnection. So in summary, combined with the velocity, integration, and I.O. are the key from the silicon perspective to have a power efficient solution. I'm handing over the talk to Feng Bo for his sharing about Alibaba deployment and design practice. Thank you, Henry Sherry. Hello, everyone. My name is Fanbo. I come from uh, Alibaba Network Hardware team. <coughs> Since the last year, we have uh, we started building our AI cluster based on the latest uh, Tomahawk 5 chips. Charge 5 system can uh, improve bandwidth. It can also reduce uh, AI network cluster power by 35%. Compared to TH4 system, why connecting same number of GPUs and uh, using the same cooling solutions? 
liquid cooling is becoming the crucial in AI. So you had better to try the liquid cooling in advance when the air cooling still work. Then you will get a chance if the, the liquid cooling uh, failed, you can switch back uh, quickly to uh, air cooling. Uh, besides that, uh, the liquid cooling is a lot reliable as the air cooling. So without uh, years of the trial operating, we don't have the confidence in falling using the liquid cooling when the air cooling doesn't work. So that is the reason we built uh, the liquid cooling charge five system in advance, even there is no real thermal requirements. As shown in below the two three pictures, uh, all our AI switches are placed into the network cables, not in server cables, even for two R switch. Uh, it will uh, decouple the network liquid cooling solutions from the GPU server liquid root map. So we can successfully deploy the, some of the liquid cooling TH5 system into uh, one of our air cooling clusters uh, this year. Uh, we have the both the liquid cooling and the air cooling solutions for the liquid for air cooling the TH5 system. Uh, it was designed into the 4 IO uh, heat uh, with 128 QSB 112IOs and the spot maximum 35 Celsius degree ambient temperature. Um, our system only needs the two layers and the PCB to support 128 optical modules. Uh, its cost is lower than the traditional three layers of PCB design. And in order to further control system cost, most of the design are shared among different generations uh, switches. You can look at the left bottom picture. Our TH5 system looks, looks almost the same with the TH4 system in appearance. And our system also has a high cooling efficiency. The system, five system fans with a smaller size web chamber heat sink is sufficient for cooling. And the TH5 system also support four DPUs in one chassis. We use the bus bar power connector instead of a cable connection, which makes our system more concise and more composable. Uh, in, the, in the past, uh, data center switches are designed to support 40 or 45 sales degree to meet uh, different customers' uh, requirements. But actually, it is an uh, old design for us. You can look at the right top top of the, the number. In Alibaba data center, we can always control the operating temperature below the 35 sales degree. So uh, four years ago, we have con control changed our design spec to 45, 35 sales degree. Fortunately for Tomaga 4 system at that moment, so far we haven't seen any thermal risk. So now we applied it to the TH5 system. It saves millions of, millions of dollars for TH5 system. If we want to switch back to spot 40 or 45 Celsius degree, the system design may be different. You, you, can, you need to use the eight system fans instead of current five system fans. Or you, you may need the belly-to-belly the, -belly the IOs instead of current stack IOs. So then you will need the three layers of the PCB design. Or both will increase system cost. Uh, if you have a chance to analyze the data center's cost, you may find every year data center spend a huge money to control the operating temperature below the 35 Celsius degree. This cost is much higher than the cost of the purchased network switches. So why should we still incur additional system cost to support the 40 or the 45 Celsius degree? It is obvious uh, unreasonable. So we think the 35 Celsius degree is sufficient for data center switches design. And AI switches power grows year by year. For high power the scenarios, simulation is not enough now because something cannot be simulated. And, uh, such as the weak structure and the water volume control in web chamber, chamber heat sink. Uh, look at the, left, the bottom, right bottom, the real test chart. In high power regions, uh, the heat, uh, perform, thermal performance of heat sink uh, varies uh, significantly for different design. But uh, in the left, uh, in the lower power regions, uh, the performance of heat sink looks uh, almost the same. This difference cannot be the simulated, uh, but it is very important for thermal design. We have published this research in one paper at CCAM 2024. For the liquid cooling uh, solutions, uh, 
Eighty percent uh, seasonal heat is carried out by PG-25 fluid. The remaining heat is called by the air. As I mentioned previously, air, air liquid cooling in the system requires higher reliability, reliability in order to achieve that. Uh, Fortunately, we have separated high leakage risk area from the circuit. Once the leakage occurs, the PC-25 fluid will not directly flow onto the PCB and will not cause the system shut down. The fluid will be collected by the water connector under the water tube, as shown in the, in the middle of the uh, bottom of the picture. Secondly, we have controlled our system operation the operating mesh pressure and system pressure loss to reduce, to further reduce the possibility of the leakage. If we use the blind mate, the manifold as shown in right bottom the picture, if we do that, our system can spot a switchboard and a night card hot sweat ball. The highest super challenge for our liquid cooling charge fire system is to how about multiple optical modules in stack, uh, op optical modules liquid cooling in stack IOs? And we have developed a, a pattern uh, liquid cooling so solution to fix that. Look at the left uh, the partial screenshot of our system. One cold play covers the top 22 optical modules, and the other, the other cold play covers the bottom layer of the 22 optical modules in stack IOs. And also, look, Low of well, the performance degradation was observed after 50 times plug-in and plug-out cycle test in accordance with MSA and SFF. That means our pattern solutions works well. In order to control the liquid cooling cost, we have selected the aluminum plate embedded with the Cooper tube as the IO's liquid cooling solutions. And liquid cooling the switches require the higher reliability, so we have created two optimized test cases to improve our system reliability. Look at the level of pictures. The EPDM horse is moving on its own under the test condition of 6 M bar, but it will not happen under the 6, 4 M bar. 4 M bar is typically used for the IT equipment liquid test. It seems that it is not enough for some of the scenarios. This phenomenon could be observed for both one step horse bump and three step horse bump. So we have changed uh, the large gel leakage test standard to fix that. Let's move to the right two pictures. Uh, for the right picture, EPDM horse is moving with the prod and the twisted force when the contact surface between the QD and the horse is wet. But it will well lot when there is a dry. It means your system level lab test may pass, but after a long time operating, the leakage may occur. If the PC25 slowly seeps into the contact surface between the QD and the horse, so you had better to test your system uh, under the condition of the wet contact. Uh, besides, uh, the decoupled reasons, there is uh, other two reasons to support, to enable, to allow us to uh, deploy uh, some of the liquid cooling TH5 system in our air cooling clusters. The first one, the both the Tomoka 5 switches and uh, 100, all the 128 optical modules are called by, uh, liquid, by liquid. It saves a lot of power at the highest ambient temperature. It saves almost uh, about the 800 watts. It means uh, each liquid cooling charge fire system uh, can enable an additional GPU card in AI cluster. The second one, our liquid cooling the system cost uh, is a lot uh, higher as uh, imagined, such as for the, as show the left picture for the both uh, Tomac 5 chips and uh, QSIP 112 optical modules of the cooling solutions. Uh, meanwhile, we can use uh, the fuel system fans and the downgrade PSUs to reduce the system cost. So finally, our liquid cooling charge fire system cost is less, one, less than 10% than the air cooling solutions. And then uh, liquid cooling will come 
everyone was liquid cooling will come soon later in AI. So we had a better enable the both L and liquid cooling solutions in at once. For high for high density AI switches, the holistic design approach is also required. We are also calling more people to join us to create a new MSC spec, spec to support 1.6 and, and 3.2 type bit OSIP liquid cooling. That's it, our today's theory. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have a couple of minutes for questions. Uh, if you have any questions, please walk up to the mic on either side. Yeah, please go up to the mic, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, all right. One question regarding the IO uh, liquid cooling design. Yeah, so this uh, question is uh, you need to forget, uh, you know, give up this uh, standard K design, then come up with your own design for the co plate uh, versus the K for the opticals. Uh, uh, yes, uh, in order to s uh, the s fix that the the, quest the problem, uh, we actually have customized uh, uh, stack I.O. the cages uh, to support uh, the, the I.O.'s liquid cooling solutions. As you know, the, the, the connector is very important for the system the performance, uh, but the cage is a shared metal the parts. So th that is a lot of, lot of important uh, as the, the connectors. So we keep the connector same with the air cooling slash solutions, but the cage is customized for our side. Okay, so you customize the cage, but still perform this uh, insertion and then uh, and uh, take out, draw out for the you know optical module. That's yeah, the yeah, the optical module performance is keep same with air cooling solutions. Great, thank you. Uh, <coughs> so what? What is the total thermal profile of one of those cages? Does it support 20 watts, 30 watts? H how much is per cage in terms of power? Mm, based on the real test the, the, the data, so actually we have, um, in previously we, 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 we expect to spot only the 12 of the watts for the, the optical module the cooling, but in our the based on our uh, on-site the real real data, it seems that our the liquid cooling looks better than our the expected. So, based the currently uh, we think it can spot uh, the about uh, the 16 or to the 20 the watts the coolings. Thank you. Yeah, we'll take one more question. Um, so, for the single code plate to cover 24 ports here, um, did you see any uh, inconsistency in the contact between different ports? And, uh, yeah. Yes, uh, actually, the for the air cooling solution, you may think uh, the the cage is uh, is fixed, uh, the heat sink is floating, so you don't have the so much contact issues. But in our the liquid 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 cooling solutions, we have the another the methodology. We mix the the cold plate fixed, but mix the cage with the floating design, so the there is low the so much contact issue. Okay, thank you. <coughs> 